So this one's a little different. Yep. So you push this to the left and then you push enter at the same time while you hold it. Okay, so to the left and enter. Left and enter, yeah. And then it'll blink 3999 and that's good. Okay. All and right, then you so should be able to go remaining and it'll show so it's 398. Okay. So it's hold to the left, press enter until it blinks, yep, and then you're good. Okay. It. It's easy when it's full. Yep. Was there anything else that I needed to do for fuel? Um, I think that was it. Um, GPS is coming up on this. Yeah, side. I was just going to show you how to tell how to lean. Because this plane leans out way further than all the other planes do. Okay. So what I normally do is I just turn this as I'm watching the RPMs. Yeah. See for the drop. Yeah. It usually dies pretty quick too, so I usually kind of slow it down when I get right about here. Yeah, that's like an inch and a half on this one. Yeah, it's a lot. People don't go lean it enough, east, so it gets fouled up. Ready text with November request 17 Bravo 5 for right crosswind departure to the west. There, it just came down. You see it came down yeah, a little bit? Just a little bit. So then I just put it back in about one big turn. So that's pretty much, that's a lot. That's almost two inches, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's way more like than the other, quarter. so yeah. just make sure on this plane you lean it out a lot. Okay. My headset on. Okay, that's better. Active noise canceling. Yeah, thanks. Got yours on too, Victoria? Yep. Perfect. After you said it, I was like, right. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Why is this plane so loud? Yep. All right. Um, so, continuing on. Make sure we're max lean. Flaps are up. Avionics on. Nav and strobe lights. So let's turn nav. Uh, should I go ahead and turn on taxi right now as well? Yeah, just taxi. Okay. Yep. Uh, so we'll leave it like that. Landing and pedo are off. Um, let's see. Transponder is set to altitude 1200. Um, uh, let's go ahead and continue on this. Yeah, and you'll see it says 398, yep. it matches that. Yep, and it automatically programs it based yeah, on Yeah, you right? can't program this one to match that, so this one you have to do first so it comes up there okay. on this plane. Okay. And continue, and let's look at the map. All right, and so for frequencies, uh, we're going to want uh, 1217 initially for ground, which is set, and for tower, we're going to want uh, 1207. Yeah, you'll see that we have it. They split frequencies last night, so that's for the left. Uh, okay. They okay. don't do it very often. But we've got, we had six people in the pattern on the left side, yes, last night. So oh, man. He got, a little, he got a little overwhelmed, which is why we just landed and came back. Oh, that's busy. Yeah, that's too much. One, that's two, when they start making mistakes, so. Yeah. Uh, for ATIS, we're going to be on 12545, and we're just going to stay in. Santee, right? Or in uh, Gillespie, right? Yeah. So we don't need to worry about programming in another ATIS frequency. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, we're probably not going to change frequencies either um, after this. I assume we're going to stay in the Delta for here. Yes. Um, so we're good on frequencies then. Okay. Yep. Um, so let's go ahead and get ATIS. And we've got our ground frequencies all set. Uh, so COM2, let's go for it. Oh, that was, uh... Velocity time information, November. That works, Time 1847 yeah. Zulu, wind calm, visibility 10. Sky condition 2500 scattered, ceiling 3500 broken. Temperature 20, 2.14, altimeter 3007. Yeah. Localizer oh, Delta approach in use, landing in a party runway 27 right and runway 27 left. Notice air mission runway 27 right, Pappy's out of service. All aircraft use caution for working progress and chasing all surface areas. Mission Bay Vortec out of service. Advise on contact, you have information, November. We'll see on Information November, time 1847, calm, visibility 10. Sky condition 2500 scattered, ceiling 3500 broken, temperature 20, 2.14, altimeter 3007. Localizer Delta approach in use, landing in a party runway 27 right and runway 27 left. Notice air mission runway 27 right, Pappy's out of service. All aircraft what was the ceiling broken? What? Oh, 3000, yeah, they changed it. 3500, 600. Yeah, I got 3600 broken. 3600 broken, okay. Okay, so which ones are actual ceiling? So scattered is at 2500 and broken is at 3600, right? Yeah, but is scattered a ceiling? Scattered is, I believe, not a ceiling. Correct, it's only broken and overcast, overcast and vertical visibility. So the difference between these buttons that you push this one, now if you were to talk, you're going to talk on COM2. Yeah. So if you push the, just to push the top and you're just listening, 
So you're still talking on number one. So yeah, that's the difference between those two. Yeah, I knew I did something wrong, but I'm like, no, it's not wrong. Let's get it. You just flip, you flip flopped it. So now you're listening to that one, but you're talking on that one. So that's okay too. Gotcha. All right, so we got that information. Okay. Uh, ground frequency, we've got it set, so we'll kind of taxi out a little bit just to the edge, and then we'll call uh, ground. All right. And we're going to do uh, right close traffic, is that right? Yes, okay. yeah. Very quiet out here for Saturday. It's kind of weird. Yeah, kind of nice. I'm assuming well, everyone was like, yeah, the weather's going to be yeah, awful. Yeah, I'm just hoping it's not too bumpy up there. Yeah. It's nice down here, but we'll see. They're not moving too fast up there, so we'll see. Uh, question for you. I'm not yep. getting your uh, sentry on my device. So uh, go I to your on. setup, your, on your iPad setup. Uh, oh, right, Wi-Fi. Yeah, That's why. do it first there. It should catch it if it's been hooked up before on it. There it is. Yeah, sometimes four flight doesn't show a device is connected, even though it is. It takes a minute. And you can go check devices on four flight, yep. and it should show up there as connected. Request to ground, there we go. There you Romeo go. Victor, Eagle Alley, 27 left, Southern departure, I have November. Are you sent for Romeo Victor, go left B ground, runway 27 left, taxi. We're recorded there. Ross, runway 35. There we go. Across 3527 left, And, okay, so. We'll make that call in just a second. We are tuned to ground um, and right close traffic, right? Yeah, uh, Gillespie doesn't really care where you're going on ground, just do on tower. So you can just ask for your taxi clearance to 27 right. Okay. Gillespie ground, Skyhawk 5291 Echo at plus one, taxi to 27 right uh, for right close traffic with information November. Five two nine one go go left to ground runway two seven right taxi the Alpha Delta cross runway three five. All right, uh, to two seven right via Alpha Delta cross th uh, runway three five uh, uh, two uh, nine one echo. There you go, good. So here's our map. You can use this. We're just going to taxi Alpha to Delta cross three five all the way to two seven right. Yep. All right. High performance tug, go left to ground, where do you want to go? Big count. All right, and high performance tug, go and say taxi, bro. We're at high performance towing, and we have to go big count, plus one, we just park it in the And high performance tug, roger. Just planning for what I need to do, I will need to uh, turn on my landing light before I cross the runway. Clouds are coming down because it was 5,000 when I arrived here, and now it's 3,500, 3,600. They're coming back down. Okay. But we're still legal, right? Yep. And when they give us the ATIS, that is the height of the clouds above ground level, correct? Yes, so, yeah, so you think about it, convert it to mag or MSL? Huh? Add 400 feet then. Yeah. All right, landing light is on. And going across. Uh, planes doing like a reverse pattern or something. Came in low. Yeah, I don't, maybe he's practicing a tailwind approach or something. I don't know. Could be. Yeah. All right, and we are now past that hold bar. Landing light off. Oh, I think that's the one that asked for a left south departure. Oh, no, that guy did. I don't know what that guy's doing. <laughs> yeah, slow it down a little bit. Yep, got a little Should fast. be less than 10 knots. Will a uh, DPE fail you if you go in excess of 10 knots? No, there's not really a, a rule about that. It's just for safety. Yeah, yeah. So he's taking off on one and landing on the other. Oh, wow. let him do that sometimes when it's not very busy, so he's just taking advantage of it. Yeah. 
Ground golf cart Alpha 2 going to Bravo 2. Golf cart Galicia Ground Cross running 35 at Alpha 2. Cross 35 at Alpha 2, golf cart. A little bit of a crosswind going on there. But the wind too. What kind of plane is that? That's a little extra. Or an RV, I'm not really sure what it is. So sometimes if there's a plane sitting there, they might be doing a run-up. It's a good idea to just put your ailerons towards them. Oh, okay. So they don't blow yeah, you wait. off. Yep. A little plane like that probably won't do much, but Bigger it's good might. practice, yeah. Noticing a delay on when my microphone picks me up. Um, yeah, so that'll be your squelch. You can fix it in the right yeah, up area. Yeah, information. Oscar is now current. Gillespie at Timbers 3005, wind 2207. There's our crosswind, so we do have a crosswind. So that's about a six knot crosswind component. Yep, I'll uh, get that information from you when uh get to there. Hit dial in 3005 on that one. And you can always wait till you get to the run up. That's a better idea. Because <coughs> yeah, taxi really should be heads up. So you can do all that when you're stopped. Funny, all the trees over here aren't moving at all, really. Yeah. Nice calm day. 2207 now, so. Coming a little bit from the southwest. since we didn't check them earlier. Okay. Mine are good. Okay. Oh. All right, setting it right at 1,000. All right, so taxi is complete. Uh, so we're now on Oscar, and the key differences were uh, 3005 for altimeter, and what was the wind direction? 27? 207. At 7, got it. Um, so 270, it's it's straight down the runway then, actually. No, 220 at 7. Oh, 220. Uh, 50 degrees off. Degrees off, oh wow, so that's... So uh, almost 100% crosswind. Yeah. yeah, at 7 knots. So I just about, about 6-ish. Yeah. All right, well, that'll be good. Uh, let's see, so it's the inner one. Uh, so the outer one is your squelch, so you can kind of turn the outer one, as you're saying, you know, talking into it. Testing one two one two. Fix yep, it. that that caught it better. Testing one two. Yep. And it's just when the, uh, your microphone picks you up. Is that right? Yeah, but yeah. Okay. So if it ever goes, you know, you can't get it right. You just turn the bigger knob until it sounds good to you. Gotcha. And then this little one is the volume for me to you. Okay. So if I'm talking too loud, you can turn me down. Got it. Put you right about there. Alrighty, so taxi is complete. Um, we did our brake check. All right, so run up, brakes, set and hold. Uh, not gonna bother with that parking brake based off of what happened last time. <laughs> um, doors, we'll leave it open for now, but I've learned that. Uh, flight controls, free and correct. So let's go ahead and test that. We're looking outside as well, thumbs up. As we tilt that way, yep, we're coming up. And that one came down and up and down. Yep, check in uh, for elevator. Yep, up and down. Rudder, left and right. Yep, that checked out. All right, uh, flaps and trim, flaps all the way up. Trim is a little high, we'll set it to about right there. Uh, fuel selector is in fact on both. Um, so let's go mixture rich, throttle up to 1700. About right there. Magnetos, left, right, so let's go both to left, and probably like 80 or so of a drop, uh, so well within the acceptance criteria, back to both, right on 1700, and going to right, 
probably a drop of uh, maybe 50, if that. Uh, so that's within intolerance. So back to both. Engine instruments. Um, They're over there on this yeah. plane. Pressure is in the green and temperature is in the green. And we're above 100, and that was the minimum temperature for run-up, is that right? Yeah, and yep. the ammeter should be just slightly right Yep, just point. slightly yep. positive, right. yep. And then car heat on, prop, or uh, throttle, idle. And, yep. yeah, just uh, about 700. 700. Yep, that's yep. good. And off on car heat. Good. And throttle, uh, go back to 1,000. All right there, just to keep that alternator recharging. Lean more than an inch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you had it about, uh, yeah, about there. there. Yep. Seems about right. Yeah, I saw it drop a little bit. Um, heading and altitude, uh, attitude indicators. So our attitude at level is right at about five degrees up. Um, 3005, so let me finish programming this as well. Uh, three zero zero, yeah, right there. Uh, so four hundred. It's about right because this altitude is about four hundred, right? Just okay, three eighty-eight, yeah. technically, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, set our here to uh oh, it's already set to two seven zero. Okay. So that'll be straight center line for when we take off. And then um, com and navs are set because uh, comms are set for. Um, ground and tower, but let's go ahead and swell. Uh, I guess we can switch over, right? Yeah, I just touched the top. There you go. There we go. And uh, navs, um, we've got our... our we don't need navs because yeah. we're not doing any navigation today. Nope. We're just going to stay in the pattern. Yep. Um, so emergency brief. Uh, so between uh, current level Perfect and hour, 900 feet, alpha, um, alpha, MSL, alpha, uh, so 500 feet above, alpha, alpha, alpha. Uh, it is what it is, and we're just going to find a spot to not crash. Uh, between 900 and 1400, uh, we're probably going to put it onto the 52. And between uh, anything above 1400, we're going to put it onto one of these runways. Either we'll flip it back onto two, se uh, sorry, that'll be nine right, okay. or one seven, or possibly even two seven right. Nine left, yeah, or two seven, yeah, you have a lot of options at that point, at that altitude. Yeah. So when you're going to go straight, you can go within 30 degrees of your nose. You just keep it in your mind you don't want to go further than 30 degrees because that's a that becomes and too much of a bank to get make it back. Right? Alpha, yep. use full call sign. Similar sounding call sign on frequency. Who was that? Roger. There's two planes with the same type frequency. Four three six Charlie Alpha. Use full call sign. Similar sounding call sign on frequency. We'll use full call sign four three six Charlie Alpha. So sometimes they'll ask you that because it keeps you separated from the other airplane. I actually read about that. There was a uh, PDF I downloaded from the yeah, Pilot Edge Charlie website. Alpha. Yeah. We'll make camp IFR. Still do the circle to land, 27 west, touch and go. All right, going back to here. And do a uh, so we'll get our takeoff clearance. Where our parking brake is already off. Um, four, six, lights, five, camera, four, six, action, and we'll confirm uh, up there. Roger, um, okay. And report the so, so, Roger, we'll report a miss. Thanks, 6 Charlie Alpha. Okay, so we do have a slight crosswind here, right? Yep. And it's from 220, so it's coming from that way. Yep. Uh, so we're going to have our ailerons left to compensate for that. Correct. And then you can bring them out as you fly. But if it's pretty strong, even airborne, you might have to keep it in Yeah. to keep that heading that you want, right? Yep. And we're just doing a regular takeoff for the first one, yes. at least. Um, yeah. Are we doing first two? Just to yeah, get we'll just do whatever many you want until you're comfortable trying something new. Kay. Yep. Sounds good. And then we'll do a uh, full stop taxi back for the... Um, Whenever you're ready. Yep. Okay. Switch it up, yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. no rush on that. Just let yourself be comfortable about it. Right clear, touch yeah. one, two, zero, zero, at nine. So, uh, <laughs> let's get that clearance. So there's a five, sorry, no, there's a five, nine, or one. They were on frequency last night, too. Five, nine, or one. <laughs> Just listen for your... Gillespie Tower, Skyhawk 5291 Echo, holding short runway 27 right for right close traffic. Skyhawk 5291 Echo, Gillespie Tower, taxi up to hold short runway 27 right landing traffic. Hold short, 27 right, eight, uh, 91 Echo. Yeah, so he did say taxi up to, so he does want you to go up there. Yep. 
and just showed her those hold bars up there. Like the window eventually. Oh, okay. yep. Thank you, Victoria. I was going to see how far he'd go. I know, I was too. I was like, <laughs> all right, all right, I'm not going to say and anything. I'm five, not four, say. Six, Charlie Alpha, after I just really like the going left cross when do you want to go on your own VFR? Yeah, just turn your nose that way so yep. you can see. We're going to go VFR, 546 Charlie Alpha. Yeah. Okay. It says Cherokee 546 Charlie Alpha, Roger, squawk VFR, please. Squawking VFR, 6 Charlie Alpha. Test the 5291 Echo, right close traffic is approved. I'll follow the upwind Cessna, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 27 right, uh, 91 Echo. Cessna 591 right, clear touch and go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Camera action. There you go. Arrival. There you go. 591 in sight. Breaks off, yeah. Yep. There you go. Alrighty, I think we're clear. Yep, he's off the runway. Going on center line. And Brown's going full throttle. Ailerons into the wind. Yep. Or there you in. go. Okay. There we go. Brakes off, right? Yep. Yep. Four. Four, three, six, Charlie Alpha going around. Lift off, Charlie Alpha. Lift off, Charlie Alpha. Lift off, Charlie Alpha. Roger. Circle south and enter. Alright, rotate. Downwind, runway 27 left. Circle south, west yeah, see how you can bring your aileron out as you're climbing out? Yeah. The nose down, yep. 73, there you go, good. Five, four, six, Charlie, Alpha, number two, follow Cessna, left base, oh. final one, with two, seven, left, clear. Yeah, sometimes you have to keep it in. So left aileron and right rudder if you want to stay straight, if you get right. winds up here, too. Left aileron and right rudder. Yeah, just put your nose down, there you go, good. All right, there we go. Uh, straighten out. Oh, just keep your track no, straight. Four, six, Charlie, Alpha, Roger, on the go, left close, pressure left cross, it's proof. 73 knots. Yep. Uh, Cessna 436, Charlie Alpha, number three, follow Cherokee, entering midfield, the left downwind, runway 27 left, clear, touch and go. Follow the traffic, answer, touch and go, wow. 27 left. Yeah, pretty four, bumpy up here. Charlie yeah. Alpha. Way different than uh, that other day. Well, we'll see how many we want to do. <laughs> There's a note to your, so if you can't see over your cowling, then your nose is probably too high, you're probably climbing too slow. So okay. that's kind of a good thing to think about. And we're at 1100, so I'm gonna do clear left. And, oh gosh, turn left. <laughs> you mean right? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. I'm gonna put some uh, trim in. That's why I it's am. hard to tell this, when it's, it's so calm on the ground, it's kind of hard to tell what it is right up here. Yeah, wow. The clouds aren't moving. <laughs> but see, they're not. That's what I was saying. They're not moving too much. So I didn't think it was going to be too windy up here because they're not moving very fast. And I'm going to do uh, more trim. Gosh. Make sure you turn your right before you get yep. too close to that Bravo. There you go. Good. At least I'm feeling this rudder more now. I did not have a feel for it before. Yeah, good. Yeah, every plane's different, right? So yeah. Two, one, two, one, two. This, I get this hissing noise when the pressure's high. I don't know why. Ah, there we go. Okay. Not fighting with the yoke anymore. It's a good distance, yeah. And on the throttle. Yep. One, two, one, two. That's the 591 runway 27 right clear. One, two, one, two. Where is that guy? That's the 901 Echo number two. Follow Cessna making a short approach. Facing flying runway 27 right clear. Touch and go on the go right close traffic. Number two, looking for traffic on to 27 right, uh, 91 Echo. I don't see him. That's That's short left. approach, should be right there. Cessna turning one mile final, runway 27 left, clear touch and go. Traffic inside, number two, uh, 27 left, 5 0. Alright, we're beaming the numbers, car heat on. Yep. And let's start with that, 436 traffic, we're going to make this full stop. Verify that was 436 Charlie Alpha. So I don't see our guy that we're number two for. No, he's landing. Oh, no, there he is. He's coming around. He's done a short approach. He's way over there. Okay. You got room for me to make this full stop? 
Is it, was that five and let's go ahead for that turn base. No, that was five nine one. Yes. Because we're past him, right? Yep. Okay. November five nine one, uh, clear to land, runway two seven right. Wind two one zero eight. Clear to land two seven right five nine one. So we need to keep it above fifteen hundred. So uh, got a little slow there, but we're recovering. Start descending if you get slow. Yep. And ten degrees because I did not do that before. Cherokee 546 Charlie Alpha, early frequency change approved. Good day. Yeah, keep descending. Wow. Thank yeah. you so much, 6 Charlie Alpha. Second degree of flaps will help you. Uh, yeah. uh, just pass back to the run-up, 436 Charlie Alpha. 6 Charlie Alpha, roger, left one able contact ground. Left one able over the ground, 436 Charlie Alpha. Set the 591, safe parking. Okay, okay. Oh, 591. Set the 591, roger, left at taxiway Alpha, cross runway 27 left, no delay, then contact ground. Left Alpha cross, 27 left, no delay, then ground, 591. Thanks so much for the turns, really appreciate it. You're welcome, it's been fun. And uh -huh. right, so we're looking for uh, getting center with respect to the numbers in the window. Uh, going for third notch of flaps, we're a little slow though. Yeah, so put your nose down, yep. so a little high. And going full flaps. And we do have some throttle in still. Okay. All right, numbers are roughly middle, uh, descending about 600 feet per minute. So a little high, but still good. Right at 65, so we're a little on the slower side. Still with Yeah, so tolerance. if you feel like you're high and slow, just bring your power out, put your nose down. Yep. And that'll increase both, or lower and faster. Fix both, yep. There you go, nice. Wow. Yeah, you're really having to fight it right now? Yeah. Hey. Do that so whatever aileron, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. aileron rudder combination you need, just keep your nose down the runway. And let me know when to pull out power. A little more. A little more power because you're getting a little, getting a little power, slow. Yeah. Your nose down. A little more right rudder. Yep. Go. All right, now you can pull power. All the way Jesus. down the runway. Oh. <laughs> Easy, settle it back down, that's okay. Oh, just hold it off, hold it off. The pick on the center line. Yep, and clean it Carb up. Carb heat in, yep, Carb heat in. Carb heat in, and oh. go. Yep. That was my that, ugliest that's landing okay. probably yet. <laughs> Everything was looking really, really good. I think it just didn't flare until like right before you touched the ground, so. Yeah, it was not Climb out, flaring, yeah. Pull back. Yep. Yeah, so when you slip it, you can actually keep your aileron in all the way down, right? And your rudder, yeah. you don't have to straighten it out if you don't need, you know, you don't really need to. Do whatever it takes just to keep that nose down the center line. Uh, I didn't want that, but... Yeah, shake it off. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yep. We still have a, both of our kidneys, so we're good. <laughs> and our teeth. And our teeth. Is that us? Yes. Uh, clear for that touch and go, number two, uh, 80, uh, 91 Echo. <laughs> 80 Golf. Yeah. Number one, you're number one for runway 27 right, clear touch and go. Yeah, we're number one. Yep. Okay. Number one, touch and go, 27 right, 91 Echo, thank you. Yeah, you said number two, but oh, we're number one. Sorry. That's all right, no apologize. Well, a lot going on, huh? Yeah. Charlie Alpha, holding short, 27 left, request a left cross wind back to Montgomery. Well, honestly, considering how long it's been, you're doing great. <laughs> I agree. Let me turn up this uh, volume. Yeah, it's my squelch is, is bad. Two, one. Rid of that. One, two, 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 one. It's not going away at all right now. All right, clear right, turn right. Not left this time. That more right rudder, just keep that ball yeah. centered. There yeah. you go. So you're not skidding. A little uh, slipping. Or slipping, yeah.
Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. All good practice. So if you start feeling kind of, if things get squirrely on the runway too, the best thing you can do is just release your feet uh -huh. off the brakes and rudders and just pull your yoke back and the plane will start settling down. If you start to kind of manipulate too much, then it can get a little squirrely, so, you know. 1600 altitude. Yep. Beam the numbers. Yep. All right, so carb heat. Yep. 10 degrees flaps. Good. Okay. Pull it out a little bit. Set for 80. Didn't know you're riding a roller coaster today, huh, Victoria? No. Uh, no, but I'm still doing good. Okay. Well, usually this, these clouds do produce some, some bumps up and down, but it, since they weren't moving too much, I didn't think it was going to be so bad. Yeah, they were just kind of sitting there. Yeah. Very deceiving. Uh-huh. Just the updrafts underneath them. And start descending down to 1500 until you come around the mountain. Yep. Charlie Alpha, early frequency change, approve good day. Charlie Alpha. All right, going for second notch flaps. And are we doing uh, touch and go again? That's what yeah. we're doing, yeah. Yeah. Delta runway 27 left clear, touch and go, wind. What these winds are doing, they may not be conducive to doing anything else today, huh? And that's okay. Yep. You can always do it Monday. All good practice still, right? Yeah. It's good to have something, you know, not calm and clear every day because yeah. you could get into that situation, so you need to know how to handle it. But. It was a confidence booster having such nice weather I know. on that last flight. But you don't always get that, yep. so. Going for third notch and flaps. All right, coming in at about 600 descent, um, about 70, so speed's pretty good. Yeah, everything looks really good here. Uh, let's focus nice on and rudder. Controlled. And got a little yeah, bit so of right rudder. Yeah, so you kind of see like your rivets down the the nose of the run of yeah. the airplane. Uh -huh. So if they're not really lined up with the runway, then you can use more rudder to get them lined up. There you go. And so you don't get pushed that way, then you use a little left aileron to keep you centered. Right? Yep. While you're looking at airspeed and everything else. Yep. Got a little slow. But uh, I can just drop it down because I'm a yep. little high. Absolutely. As opposed to speeding up. So numbers are coming up good. Speed is a little slow, but it's okay. Good, nice and stabilized. This looks really good. This is the 5 0 Delta C altitude. Uh, 1,300. Roger. Yeah. Uh, do you see mode C portion and transponder yeah. working? A little more right rudder. Uh, it's yeah. at the moment. There you uh, go, you nice. Reset at 5 5 0 Delta? Yeah, can you try resetting it? Thank you. Welcome. All right, power out. You got the runway, just keep your nose down. Power out. Fall away and hold it off. Your hand on that throttle, though. Oh, sorry. Yeah, see, hold on. Bring it back. Just slowly bring it back. There you go. See how you can settle it back down nicely? Yeah. So you got to keep your hand on that throttle because that's going to yep. save you. Yep. Car repeat off. Car repeat off. Flaps, Flaps up. up. And go. And go. So you didn't really hold it off again. Yeah. So remember, you just got to flare and then just kind of hold it level for a bit. And when you start seeing it sink, then you can start bringing it back. 55 rotate. Right, yeah. yeah, the plane doesn't really want to stay on the ground too much faster than that, right? Yeah. All right, you're doing good. I think you did great. I agree. Thanks. 
Yeah, you really just got to keep your hand on the throttle because if you have to go around, you got to have it on the throttle. Right, right. Yeah, so you're just kind of landing a little flat on both those. So when you look down, the, are you looking all the way down the runway or were you looking in? I was looking down the runway. Okay. It's just with the wind, so much more. Yeah. That's why we do crosswind practice. Okay. It changes the it changes everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice. I'm getting more of a feel for it now. Yeah. Each go yep. around. Yep. And clear and right, and turn it right. Right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go for 9-1 Echo on 27 right. Right at pattern. Let's see, keep it right on zero nine zero. Got about ninety knots, so slow it down just a bit. Yeah, it's a little faster. Oh, right. Yeah. Because it should be right at ninety knots as we come out of that last turn. Correct. Right? Yes, on downwind. Yes. Yeah, and be right at about pattern altitude, but we're a little fast. Coming up on a beam. Basically a beam right there, so carb heat and ten degrees flaps. That always gets a little squirrely around these hills. Yeah. Just how the uh, winds kind of hit off of it, basically. Yeah. A little slow again, but I added a little bit of power to get us back to eighty. Yeah, so again, if you feel like you're high and you're slow, just put your nose down. That'll fix both issues. Yep. We're right on altitude, uh, 77 knots. So when you flare this time, just level off for a bit. Okay. Like maybe even count to three. Okay. And then start to bring it back. Starting turn three, two, one, and go. Let's see, clear right, turn right. Have you and I done a low approach yet before? Not yet. 20 degrees flaps. A little fast. Roger, runway 27 right to make a uh, correction report a two mile initial. Okay. 
Straight on. Cluster tower, helicopter two two eight two three. Just uh, seven the mountain. Little fast. Helicopter two two eight two three. Gillespie tower, reported miles south of the field. Eight two three, report one mile south. November five, Romeo and Sierra, straight out. Romeo two seven left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Uh, two seven left, straight out. Five, Romeo and Sierra. All right, still a little fast, but it's coming down. I now. think looks good. Yeah. Now RV4, Roman Victor, traffic to uh, just over 10. Uh, Mount Helix, I'm sorry, helicopter 1,200 <laughs> inbound to the field. Ah, I spoke too soon. Yeah, uh, yeah. Looking. watch your airspeed. Jeez. More power, yeah. there you go. I always get a little bumpy over the freeway here. Delta 50 Delta, can you continue to the upwind past half a mile past 125 for traffic inbound? Thank you. All the way down the runway with more right rotor. Yep. Power out. Hold it off. Oh. RV4 Victor number one, <laughs> one two seven left clear landing wind. I'm leaving so fast. Okay, I your don't controls. Know. Okay. Oh my, I got it. Okay. Well, I don't know why you're. Uh, you're. I'm not sure. Like you are doing fine, and then you just uh, like stop doing it. Drop. That's okay. Ready? You want to? Ready. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah, you're, I don't, it's like you're not reacting. I feel like you're coming down and then you're just... Uh, Did I pull back too soon for flare? I think so. Yeah, make sure you roll out at 55. There you go. Brush it off. Let's watch that guy. He looks like he's drifting. Hi, Romy Sierra. We're looking for the stuff that will continue this heading until we see him and old uh, Montgomery. Thank you. Bye, Romy Sierra. Ace two at midfield, break right to short approach through, runway two seven right, cleared land, number one. I wish I could get rid of that hissing, but I can't. Yeah. It's annoying. Sorry, it's my headset, I think. No, you're. Might be the connection to the. Your GoPro. Oh, maybe. Let's check the five zero zero. The traffic to your uh, one o'clock, about two miles in an RV. Out to case one thousand four hundred on the left base. Number two, runway two seven left. Clear touch and go on the go. Left wheel traffic. So you're doing everything really great till that last few seconds. Yeah. Uh, and I think you're just dropping it. I think you're trying to rush it down to the ground. So let's really just take our time and. I was thinking a, a low, a low approach might help you, where we just fly all the way down the runway really low, and we don't land. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Do we need to inform him or anything? Yeah, I'm going to ask him for a low approach. Case two, traffic left base has you in sight for the parallel. That'll help you keep your wind corrections in all the way. Yeah. But turn down wind. Yep. Set the 901 echo number two. Follow. Extra short final, runway 27 right clear, touch and go. 901 Echo requesting a low approach. So the 901 Echo, runway 27 right clear for the option. Clear for the option, 901 Echo, thank you, 27 right. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is everything's the same. Okay, all your approach, everything's the same. When you go to flare, though, I want you to stay off the ground. And whatever power it's going to take, is going to take quite a bit. Okay. Don't let it land. Okay. But I want you to stay center line down the, down the runway. And just stay really low to the ground without touching down, okay? Do not land it. Okay. All right? So this is just a practice to keep that alignment and get that sight picture of what it looks like as a flare. All right. Because what might be happening is as you feel it kind of like losing a little bit or like getting a little squirrely at the end, I think you uh, start looking short. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, and that's start focusing too much like in front of you instead of ahead. Right, and that's usually what happens if when you're dropping it like that. It's usually because you're looking in, not looking all the way down the runway. So when we do this low approach, you're going to keep looking all the way down the runway. You're just going to get that sight picture, okay? Okay. Funnel vision. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's easier sometimes to see it back there than it is up here. I, I think I just know him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. Yeah, oh. <laughs> well, I think your interpretation is, is spot on. All right, 
I don't see where number one is here. Where did it go? I think that's them. Yeah, there's a five zero Delta landing right. Uh, oh, that's a two seven left though. Let me see here. Towers nine one echo number one now. Delta nine one echo affirmative. Roger that. Thank you. I could tell. Start that turn. Everything else exactly the same. It's going to be good practice for your crosswind corrections, too. Yeah. You got to keep it centered all the way down the runway. I'll tell you when to climb out, okay? Okay. So when we climb out, when I say climb out, full power, bring your flaps up to 20. Okay. Car beat off too then? Yes. Okay. That's just really squirrely behind this mountain, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> could go to the left, but I want you to have a bigger runway to just get the feel of it better. Flaps, car beat. Align your nose up with the center line. A little more right rudder. A little more. About right there. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And whatever left aileron it takes to keep it centered. 5 0 Delta, wind 2105, runway 27 left, clear, touch and go. 27 left, clear, touch and go. 5 0 one zero Delta. And we're going to go for a lot of throttle as we get down there, right? Yeah, it actually takes quite a bit, but don't. It's not full power. Yeah. This is whatever it takes to keep you from sinking. Seventy knots. Right here, so just keep going and don't land. A little more power, a little more right rudder. More right rudder, just keep that nose straight. There you go. Get back over the center line with your rudder. There you go, nice. More power. More right rudder. So you see the sight picture? Yeah. You can tell when you're sinking or not sinking, right? Yeah. Very good, excellent. Full power? Uh, yeah, go ahead. 20 degrees, yeah. carb Full off. power. Full, full power, power first, yeah, before you put the flaps up. Good, okay. they're very good, see? That was just trying to give you that feel of, you have control of this airplane, yeah. right? You can make it do what you want it to do. It flaps up to 10. Flaps up to 10. Positive rate of climb. That we have it, yep. Yep, good. That was really good. So going uh, no flaps. How'd that feel? That was better, Good. and I just need to remember that I have the whole runway. I don't have to land it right. Yeah, I think the, that's what you're trying to rush it I down. Think, yeah. And I think she's right that you're looking in, you're looking close, which means lose all your periphery. So just keep your eyes all the way down the runway, just like you were. You were looking all the way down the runway when you did that, weren't you? Yeah. yeah so it makes a difference. That was a very, very good uh, low approach with crosswind and everything. <laughs> it's good to experience it. Yep. If it makes you feel better, I'm just kind of sleepy. It's like rocking me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. Uh, clear for the touch and go, 91 echo on 27 right. Good. Like I'm pretty sure that was us. Yeah, it was us. <laughs> 
So I'm glad I have uh, 6190 Delta, I believe, coming up for Monday. Okay. Because um, I think it'll help me getting a feel for other planes that need more rudder compensation. Yeah. I thought you and Alex both have 88 Golf on Monday. You know, maybe. I can check. You want to log in for me? I might have switched it, actually. I might be wrong, too. I don't know. Uh, Please hold. <laughs> yeah, no hurry. We will find out later. Wait, well, what did you think it was? I thought it was 8 Golf. Uh, no. Is it 619? Or it's 619. Okay. It was, uh, this Thursday was supposed to be 8-8 Golf. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're beam. So going for carb heat. And 10 degrees flaps. 1600. And just pass below 80 knots. So give it a little bit more. Don't want to descend too fast. I think one of my problems is I, I come in slow. So I think I. You're doing what? I come in slow a little bit. Uh, I think your airspeed's been good. Yeah. You've been really stabilized. Everything, I mean, from my perspective, and correct me if I'm wrong, everything feels really good back here yeah. until the last like two seconds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everything's good to the last two seconds. So you gotta fly the airplane all the way to the ground, right? Yeah. Don't stop doing your controls, whatever it takes. They could do what you wanted to do. Because you were even making like the correction, so when you're like, oh, I'm doing this, oh, I'm doing this, you're doing great. Yeah, I agree. And I, I don't know anything, but you know. No, you know, you're learning, you're known enough to just see when it's right. It's got great, a great aircraft control, that's for sure. And this is a challenging day, yeah. so don't be hard on yourself for this. Okay. It's a good day to, to get some practice. Yep. A little low, but uh, we're just below 1,500. We're coming around it. Probably okay. That's why they make these landing gear very, very strong on these planes. They're very yeah. forgiving. Unplug this. Oh, the sound on this real quick. See if that's what it is. Well, maybe not yet. I'll do it later. All right, a little bit more right rudder, and coming in good. Right at seventy. Middle of the window. A little bit across when I can feel it. Not too bad though. Not yet. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> News there. Coming in at 70. Tell me when to flare, just so I okay. have it in my head. And I'm gonna so hold if you're it. aiming for the numbers, uh -huh. it's when the numbers go under your cowling is when you should flare. Okay. But I can help you with that. Bring it back, easy, easy. Bring it back, 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 bring it back. That's better. <laughs> I think I made better on that other day. Much but better. That was, was much, up. much better. Heat in, center line, feet on the floor, full throttle, right rudder. So whatever you did different, just keep doing that. Was, that. that was better, yeah. That was way better. Yeah. 
Alright, 58, go ahead and rotate. And taking off. So the reason we didn't get quite to the numbers because we came in a little low, uh -huh. but that's okay. We had the sight picture, so. Yeah. I still landed after the uh, legal spot though, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, trust me, I wouldn't let you land on the threshold. So. <laughs> Threshold, that's the word. I was like, oh, what is it? The legal spa? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> same, Much same. better. Yeah, that was better. So I don't know what, what the difference was. I think you just relaxed about it. I think you I, didn't try to rush it down. You yeah. were rushing it down before, so this time you really took your time, and you flared, and you held it for a bit. So yeah. let it settle, right? Just let yeah. the plane slow down, and it'll start coming down. Then you just ease everything back, and go. Clear right, turn right. Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> but your pro all your better. patterns, all your approaches, everything else is really, really good. It's very, you have a really good control. The five zero Delta, runway 27 left, clear for the option. 27 right, clear for the option, 5150 Delta. We'll, uh, we'll be departing straight out after this touch go. 50 Delta, roger, and I just want to verify runway 27 left, clear for the option. Staying you straight out is good. 27. Sorry, say the runway again, 50 Delta. 27 left. 27, 5, 1, 5, 0, Sorry about that. Just now I want to go runway 27 right, clear for the option. Set us. Yeah. Uh, 27 right, clear for the option, 9, 1, Echo. Good. Uh, raise that just a little bit. Yeah, this is his volume. This is my volume to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, the little one. I need to raise his then. There you go. Got it, okay. okay. You probably don't want me talking louder, huh? <laughs> I was wondering why I really wasn't doing a whole lot. <laughs> Yeah, I needed to boost him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the knob on the... So try to turn your big knob and see if we can get rid of that hissing. It might be your side. One. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, it was you, not me. Me. <laughs> now okay, my mic starts on a little bit of a... better. That's... Back yeah, this way. You, there's a fine line between where you can still hear yourself. Yeah, watch your airspeed. Bring it down to 90. You still have to fly the airplane. Yep. Watch your altitude. All right, let's do another one like that. Yep. There are a beam, one for car heat. in the 80s now, so I can go ahead and do this. Yeah, it might be cutting yourself off now. I can fly, if you want to mess with that? Uh, yeah, if you want to take over. Yeah, control. my controls. One, two, yeah, there's one. kind of a fine line to get this to hissing to go away, but everyone's still, I like to be able to hear myself talking, you know. One, two, one, two. I hear you fine. Can you hear it? Yep. One, two, one, two. That's so at better. least the hissing's only going when we talk. That's a lot better, right? That's that's a lot better, yep. Okay. Okay. Your controls? My controls. Ready? Your controls. Okay. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Had it all trimmed up nicely. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's better, huh? Yeah, a lot better. I that's can hear. crazy. I didn't realize how loud it was. Right? Watch your ear speed. Hello. About 80. Especially when there's a little wind going on, gusties, you want to keep a little extra power in too. So come seven. Or testing one two one two one two one. Testing one. He's breaking up, huh? Yeah. That third notch. Of
Yeah, one way or the other. Sometimes it's just a very little slight turn will fix it. Got it? No, oh, still not. Here, I'll turn it while you talk. The 5 zero Delta, free change of discretion, get it. Uh, five, Testing one, one two, there we go. Okay, that's got it right there. Five zero Delta, contact Montgomery Tower, get it. Contact Montgomery Tower, five one five zero Delta, appreciate the help today. Thirty degrees flaps, we are good. A little slow, but coming in. I'll hold it off this time again. There's the crosswind. Yep. A little more power just to get a little at that point. Right rudder. Yep. Right now you got it made. Power out. Power out. All the way down the runway. Just to ease it back. <laughs> you kind of did this and then did this. Yeah. Yeah. But that was okay. You were on the center line. Not too bad. Still okay. Yeah, so when you eat, when you flare, it's just a nil gentle, keep bringing it back, bringing it back. Don't change that. Don't yeah. put it forward at all, because we don't want our nose to come down, right? So just keep easing back, easing back, right? Right. You're getting it, dude. It's a challenging day today. <laughs> yeah. This calm wind down on the runway is deceiving. I think it's just a, just a harder day relative to 8 Golf, which less... Less uh, rudder action, I think, required. Well, because that has a stole kit on those wings, you know? So yeah. it, it has a lot more wing surface. They don't need as many inputs. I feel like that would have been a perfect landing. For some reason, you put your yoke forward. Yeah. So I'm not sure what that, I think, did you feel like you were too high or something? Yeah, you know I feel like high? I was too high, I think. But you're coming, we're trying to slow it down, right? So if you just yeah. keep easing back, easing back, easing back, it's okay if you kind of lose your forward vision. You kind of look out the side a little bit with your periphery. I mean, I guess for my reference, like how much runway did we still have? A lot. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, yeah, even if you keep going, it's just eh. Yeah, he's practicing his short fields already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what's the rush? Just just let it do it. Let yeah, it do I it. agree. I think it's so maybe we should change our aiming point. Okay, to like the thousand foot? Yes. We might have to do a full stop taxi back, but that's okay. Yeah, make sure you turn your down one not too far. Because there's that Bravo right there. I don't want it to get close to it. Yeah, let's see if we can land on the thousand foot markers instead. So aim like a couple hundred feet in front of those. Okay. If that helps, because I think you're still coming in a little low. Yeah. Didn't know it was going to be such a roller coaster. Runway 27 right, clear for the option. That was you. Uh, clear for the option on 27 right, 919 go. You're the only one here now. Okay, that makes it <laughs> so easy. So if they're talking to anybody, it's going to be us. <laughs> That's probably why I was getting so sleepy, because like the last time there was so much oh, chatter right. on the radio, and this time I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, we are beam, car beam. 10 degrees. I know we got a little high there, but putting it back to it. So he said for the option, we can do a full stop landing if you want. Maybe land on the, let's try to land on the center line. I mean, the thousand foot markers. Okay. We'll, so taxi, we'll, back, we'll taxi back and switch to the left. Okay. And we can try some, uh, like a short fill takeoff. And okay. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah. It might not be as bumpy on the left side. Uh, do we need to call watch him and let air, him know what we're doing? Speed. No, he's, he cleared us for the option, which means we can do a touch and go, a stop and go, a landing. 
Low approach, we can really do whatever we want. As long as it's on the right run, right? Patterns are really good. All your aircraft control is super good. Just that last three seconds. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, you, the last two landings were, were good, much better. You were on the center line. You had more control. You took your time, right? Yeah. It's more what you get from each time, like the learning of it. Exactly. Yeah. I like her. You can bring her every time. <laughs> the good co-CFI. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like over here falling asleep. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, by the way, while well, I'm sleeping. You doing okay back there, Victoria? Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, she's tired. She wants a nap now. Uh, <laughs> there was a couple of times where I almost dozed off. I was like, wait, no, wake up. Sleep. <laughs> People do sleep sometimes. Airplane. We can't up here. But... Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so we're doing full stop landing, uh, and we're aiming for the 1,000 foot marks. Or uh, just short of it? Uh, we'll, we'll try and land on the 1,000 foot markers this time. I'll okay. let them, we're gonna, just let them know we're doing a full stop. And then when I go, would it be a full stop taxi back? Roger. Yeah, you're here. We're it. Okay, so now you're shifting your focus down, further down the runway, right? So yep. I want you to come in a little higher this time. So just keep those 1,000 foot markers in the center of your windscreen. Third notch flaps in. Using right rudder. Centered and looking for that uh, thousand foot markers. Center point. So you want me to land on this on the thousand? Well, just aim for them for aim now. For We're going to land a little Good. longer than that, though. I just okay. want you to have something further out to land to aim that now. Okay. Pretty much the goal is to kind of use more of the runway. Yes. So just keep them in your that in your center. See how you're getting low now. So yeah. More power. Low and slow. Yeah. Yep. A little more right rudder. Straighten yep. that nose. There you go. All the way down, now ease, hold it off. Hold it off. Oh, sorry, that was me, that was my bad. A little more power. Back to the right. And just hold it off and bring your power out. So that was me, I think I pulled, you pulled and I pulled too, so that was my fault on that one. I pulled too much, but you were... You kind of you're doing this now. You're pulling back and then you're putting it forward. Yeah. You don't want to do that. I don't know what's <laughs> on. That's okay. Let's go all the way to the end and get off on the left hand side there. Okay. Go back to the. We'll go to the left side and see how we do on that. Brakes are off, right? Yep. Feet off the brakes. I mean. Yep. Feet are off. And uh, if you'd like, you can back taxi. They don't have anyone. Ah. All right, we'll back taxi. We actually want to go over the, to the left side, and I don't want to go. This one, I want to go right, you can continue down the end then. Turn left, and then uh, runway 27 left, taxi via Delta, cross 35, this frequency. Hey, taxi via Delta, cross 35, stay with you, 901 Echo, thanks. Back taxi is fun though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that, well, I kind of like you to it back. It can be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, something different that you don't you normally get to do at these airports, but it's kind of hard to go over to the left. We've, uh, we Victoria and I see, saw someone doing it on four flight once. Yeah. Remember when your parents were here, Victoria? Yes, I remember. I was at uh, Montgomery at like, I don't know, 8 o'clock or something like that. Yeah, they let us do it one time at Montgomery, which is extremely rare. It's really, you literally just do a 180 on the runway and taxi back on the runway. Is that a coyote? Yeah, there's some, yep, yep. Oh, wow, yeah. Wiley. So let's clean up our airplane. Yep, flaps up, car heat off. Got a pretty good deal here because he's got all the food he wants and no predators. Look out, coyote. Yeah. Keep 
moving. Keep moving. I know, yeah, right? There you go. There you go. Keep, keep running. He's pretty keep brave. Going. Keep like, going. He doesn't yeah. seem to okay. care, huh? All right. He's clear. <laughs> get out of his way yeah and, and then he has no predators and he's got all these rabbits and yeah squirrels to eat hey i mean he's probably doing his job in terms of uh, keeping the rabbits right. out of the way. bigger target bigger to see So when things are a little slow, they'll let you stay on tower frequency for taxiing back to a different way. Okay. Always nice. I have to text. I have a... I, they shut my gas off on Monday night. I had a gas leak. Oh, no. A bunch of us in my complex, like 26 of us, found they found bad pipes. Oh. So they've been trying to fix it. They don't have hot water. Oh no. Or any gas. Trying to, the guy's here now, he's trying to get it fixed today. Get it fixed. Oh yeah, we should be uh, Mission Pop Lane two. Mission Pop is correct, wind 24088, altimeter 3003. Forget to lean your mixture while you're taxiing. Oh, right, yes. That was the part I forgot, wasn't it? Yep, that's okay. Okay, well, he kind of uh, distracted us, didn't he? Yeah. He said uh, 240 at 8, is that right? Yeah. A little bit better. Now it's only a 4 knot crosswind component. Yeah. And we we're cl cleared across this one, right? Yes, he did say cross the 3 5. Uh, 3003 dialed in on the uh, main altimeter. That's why I got a little squirrely there. <laughs> I think switching runways will be a nice reset. Yeah. Yeah. Second line, there's two lines here. Gotcha. And I can demonstrate a short field takeoff and landing if you'd like. Take a break. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Do I know how to fly anymore? <laughs> Start snoring back there in a minute. No, I'm alive. Do one, I'm two, alive. One, two. Do a short field takeoff and I'll come around and do a short field landing. All right, so you can yeah. watch what it looks like. Yeah. So, again, like you talked about, I'm going to ask for a short delay on the runway. Um, go to the end here. So, that's the thing on this side. We can see the final just fine. Yep. Hold our brakes, full power, check everything that's in the green. Everything looks good. And then we'll release the brakes, rotate 55, and climb out 57. So, initially, the plane wants to go pretty fast. And then you just really have to bring that yoke back. It's it's a pretty high nose up attitude. And you're really not going to see much in front of you. Okay. But we want the 57 knots just until we're 
50 feet over our obstacle. Okay. So usually what you do is climb out 57, call clear obstacle, and then you climb out at 73. Okay. All right. All right, my controls. Your controls. My controls. Left tower Scott Hawk 5291 Echo holding short 27 left, left close traffic with short delay. Left tower Scott Echo short delay approved, left close traffic approved, runway 27 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 27 left, 901 Echo, thank you. All right, so we're just going to go to the end here. Final is clear. Use up all the, as much runway as we possibly can get. On the center line. Up on the center line with my nose straight. Okay, holding the brakes, right? Yep. Full power. Instruments are in the green, right? Yep. Everything's good. Temp and pressure good. And you have all this power, it's going to take a lot of right rudder. So yep. as they start to roll. So lots of right rudder just to keep it on the center line. Still having my ailerons in for wind correction. Looking for that 55 knots. Have to really pull it up pretty aggressively. Oh to wow! Get it to, to 57. Get it to 57. Right? Yep, wow. Yep. So over the 50, but it happens fast. So I'm already over the 50. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just lower the nose to 73. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put my flaps in. That's why it was taking so long to take off. Ah. Uh, failed. I already failed. <laughs> You're good. So I should have put my flaps in. That usually helps pick it up a lot faster. But that's pretty high nose up attitude, right? It's yep. a lot. Yep. Yeah, it was definitely different. Do you want to do the pattern and I'll do the landing? I'll do the okay. pattern. All right, your controls. My controls. So normally I'd put my flaps up now, but I screwed that up. So don't do as I do, <laughs> do as I say. I gotcha. <laughs> that would have taken us off a lot quicker with flaps in. And I know you said uh, we are over 900, but we'll wait for that road basically, so that we don't make as much noise over the. Uh... Correct. Yeah, on the left side, we wait till the 50 or the 125. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead.